Hi, I'm Andy Fusco from the Las Vegas Pipe Band. You know, one of the hardest things to do as a piper is to play in front of people. So we at the Las Vegas Pipe Band came up with something called the Circle of Death. What that means is our solo players will step into the circle during a band practice and play a solo tune in front of everyone. We will then get feedback from actual judges on how the performance went. Enjoy. All right, what's your name and what do you play? Eric Pileski, I'm going to play for March, Wind Rays, Gravel, Alaska, Iowa City Police. Fantastic. Jack Lee up in Vancouver, and I just had a chance to watch and listen to Eric Pileski play Pipe Major Willie Gray, so here are a few of my comments. Firstly, well done. I thought it was a nice performance. Really good bagpipe, uh, warm and, and well-tuned and stuff. So, uh, it put me in a good mood, I have to say, when I heard the piping so well-tuned. Um, a couple of things I thought about his playing. Generally very good, but kind of on the fast and rushed side. So. Eric got off to a very brisk start. One little habit he, he showed there is not holding the early low A, so the pickup notes. So, I'm talking about the low A at the very start of the tune. He tended to just jump in, da ba bo, instead of dum ba bo. And that little knee habit, small as it is, did carry on throughout the tune. So, that's just something we could keep an eye on. I also felt he was just slightly too round. Not a lot, but just a little bit. And I think it was possibly speed induced because he was going at a pretty brisk speed. Um, for me, the last phrase of each part is slightly untidy. I'd like to recommend to him just to work on that last phrase. So the in that last phrase, the tackles are a bit messy, a wee bit messy, and the burl is definitely too early. 
Ti da bam bam ba da dum 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 boom. Right on the beat. Da dum boom. So what he should do is pause on that last low weight immediately prior to the burrow, just a a tad, so that the burrow lands right on the beat. As I said, it's arriving before the beat. So anyway, on this, I want to talk about tackles for a minute because they kind of kept. Uh, catching my ear at these various endings, and there's a lot of tackum working in that in and around that third part. So tackums are a challenge for all of us, for sure. But what he's tending to do, so uh, slow mo demonstration. Here we go. Here's here's a tackum. What I'm doing there is playing the C D. And then when I go to low A, I'm trying to make sure my three fingers hit the hole at the same time. What Eric did is this: C, D, definitely putting these two fingers down too early and getting a false sound, and occasionally an early low A prior to the D grace note. <laughs> I'm not sure if that demonstration is coming out or not, but um, that is is very very fixable. But uh, what I'd recommend to him is just to slow it down and analyze and make sure that he feels the three fingers hitting the hole, the hole, hitting the channel at the same time for a true away in the second half of these tackles. Um, so a little, so it's all related to the tackle, but in that third part, there's. <laughs> Segment in there, C doubling, tackum, C E. That was a bit too rushed, and he rushed in, rushed off the C. Tackum was a wee bit messy, and then off to that next C up to E a little on the early side. So again, I would, if I was uh, coaching Eric, I would say it's close. Just dissect those tackums a bit and slow it down, and you'll be able to improve that. Um, there's a funny little thing in the last part I noticed. He's not always closing his hand on E. Right there. I could hear slightly false E's on those little E's after those quick C's. Does that make sense? Um, so the coach would be to go. Make sure that C, those C fingers are really, really closing down so that the E is true. Very, a sort of pure E, not a kind of a false E. Um, and one just last point, slightly, slightly irrelevant, but let me say it. Finish the tune before you diddle. So you went like you did. And you did the diddling immediately. Oh, as upon playing that last note, I'm just saying, finish it, and then do your diddle, so that the the thing, the tune starts with polish, and ends with polish. Uh, a good performance by Eric overall. Yeah!